Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over the vintage compressor module in Ozone 8. I'm going to open it up here and kind of was already going. So what this is, is the vintage compressor, it's a, it's a really neat way to kind of uh, control and control the body of the track. The vintage compressor, it's not meant to be like used to extreme values. You can, but what it is, is it's kind of a utility to kind of ride the audio in a way that sound it so it doesn't sound like a compressor like a digital one it's a good way to kind of write out the audio and things like that so we're going to go over it'll look like this actually we're going to go over a brief kind of rundown of what a compressor does and what it is is when the audio level which we can see here that right there when the audio level goes above the threshold depending on what the ratio is it will reduce the volume automatically. So it's like someone kind of writing a fader or something like that. Kind of, you do this when, when like commercials blast on your TV, you turn the TV down. You're basically a, a compressor, like you're turning down the audio when the audio gets above a level uh, that you are in annoying, it's like annoying your ears. So you're like, I gotta turn that down. So yeah, so if you wanna fix that, just put a compressor and have that running out of your TV. So yeah, uh, there's that, and the re uh, the attack is how slow the reaction time of how how long it takes for the gain to uh, be reduced. So that's the reaction time once it goes above the threshold, and this will uh, preserve something called transients, which is uh, very important. So if I clap, psh, right, you know, you might not have enough time to catch like the beginning part of the clap, but you know, you'll catch the body of it. And what that does well, on a snare drum, for example, is you get like rock drums and you have the attack poking through and uh, a very high ratio and threshold. And uh, the release is how long it takes for it to go back to normal after it leaves the threshold. So attack, release, and ratio. And the gain is, uh, um, you know, the volume after the uh, compressor circuit and auto gain, it will automatically adjust to compensate for the changes in level. So what that does is that kind of brings up the average level. So if you're reducing the gain, it will boost it, right? Making the, the quiet part sound loud and the louder part sound quieter, which is compression. Very cool. And the thing about the vintage compressor is it's just an amalgamation of different vintage compressors put together. And uh, they've captured kind of uh, vague, or not vague, but they've, cap they've captured uh, different kind of um, compressors in here. Uh, so you got modes, sharp, balanced, and smooth. Sharp would be like, I'm assuming like SSL, like let's slam this stuff. I want to capture like every single peak and stuff like that. And it really like kind of rides the audio if you're going for like 80 stuff. And smooth is... Something that's not as reactive, so it's more of like a like a tube based, and it's like gentle, and you know it's just uh, a leveling kind of compressor, and the, uh, the uh, release characteristics change depending on you know like what was fed into it, kind of complicated stuff going under the hood, and uh, balanced is a mixture between those two. So think of vintage compressor as a way to level out your track, kind of thing. And you know you'll still have your attack, your your transients there, but it'll kind of smooth things out, and yeah, just very useful. So one thing about the uh, vintage compressors is the detection circuit. So you'd have to have like the audio running into it, and that audio running into it is not completely linear, right? It'll be kind of high passed. And uh, that's all well and good and modeled. It's, it'll kind of be like that. So it'll only kind of detect what's going on in here. And that'll be triggering the uh, threshold. Um, but this is also useful if you have, I guess, a lot of low end. And you don't want the low end to just be going bananas messing with your threshold. You want like the mids and the highs to uh, affect that. And uh, yeah, you can totally do that. And that's why, you know, use uh, these compressors in that way they react differently than uh digital ones they add a color if i dare say so yeah let's go uh two to one ratio 
uh, I don't think I mentioned this, but the ratio, basically, uh, the higher the ratio, the more the gain reduction, right? And one to one uh, doesn't really do anything. So yeah, let's do that. Right, so you want like, you don't want like crazy amounts of game reduction, but you want a little bit. You want it to kind of bite and ride the audio. And we'll go over to uh, the game reduction trace. Right, it's catching those peaks. We can uh, catch a bit more. We can just bring the threshold down. Bring the ratio up. Right, very smooth. We can go sharp, we can just grab everything. Right, or smooth, just kind of smooth it out. Right, that's that's pretty aggressive, but you can see the non-linearity of that release curve right there. Right, so from there, yeah, you can adjust the uh, the attack and release that will preserve your transients um, for the attack and the release will dictate how fast or yeah how fast it takes to get to uh, zero and the auto gain will kind of keep things level and uh, yeah, it's just a a good way to kind of smooth things out. Right, and it's com it's a compressor that doesn't sound like a compressor, and uh, yeah, maybe this isn't the best example, but you know it's the best I can do. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys learn stuff. Uh, take care and have a good one.